Hey, I'm Nathan Brandt with Coal Ironworks. Today, we're gonna take a look at our 12-ton forging press. So when you purchase a 12 ton from the website, you're gonna to get to select what dies are included with your system. We have three options. You can get blank dies, which is just a set of the plates. You can get flat dies, which are professionally heat treated H13 flat dies, or drawing dies. So these are half round, professionally heat treated H13. Uh, all of our heat treated dies come with a black oxide coating. You can also select to get both the drawing and the flat. These are an inch and a half by three inches of usable working space. And if you get the blank die set, you have the ability to weld on. You see how we just weld on the uh, H13 to these uh, before heat treat, so you can make your own dies. Um, the way that these work is these slots allow you to sl simply slide in and lock in place or slide out your die sets. You just have a three by one and a half inch usable space on that die plate. Our standard presses come with a manual control valve. So that means when you put the, the valve handle down to press it, it's going to send the dies closed and when you uh, press up on the manual valve handle that's going to open your die set. This comes assembled just like you see here, uh, filled with fluid unless otherwise specified. Generally, if we're gonna ship out of the country, they're gonna come empty. Um, and you can see our uh, hydraulic fluid video elsewhere to get some more information on what kind of fluid you'd wanna use. Um, but they're gonna come filled with fluid. To get to your fluid, we have a couple different tank options. Uh, this one uses a threaded tank like that. Uh, we do have some tanks also uh, without a chrome cap that will just pop off. And that's just based on whatever we have available at the time. Um, all of our presses come standard with a magnetic switch so that you can place that on off stop switch anywhere around the machine. So if you're gonna remotely mount uh, your power unit, let's say under the table, then you can take your on off switch and mount that to the front of your table uh, for easy and safe access. Our standard 12 ton comes one 10 volt, 20 amp service is what you'll need. Um, but you can also opt for a 220 volt, 10 amp style, which just means that we're we're gonna rewire the motor for you uh, for that application. It will not change performance at all, but if you have 220 available in your shop, it is a, a nice way to get a lower amp usage, uh, which can result in really marginal savings uh, for the level of use you're gonna see with your press. But uh, that, that is an option for you. You do lose out somewhat on the ability to just roll your press around the shop. Um, you can see that we have it up on our workshop table here. Uh, anything that's roughly 36 inches long by 24 inches deep is gonna be a good option for this cart and the total unit weighs right around 265 275 pounds uh, depending on fluid and dye options and, and all that um, one key note I would like to make is you can either buy the dies like this we do have a combo die for the press but I do want to show you the difference in size so we've only got three inches in available width here and so the combo dies are made up of a one and a half inch drawing and a one and a half inch flat section and so you want to make sure if you do buy these separately that your work is going to fit nicely on those smaller dies uh, the combo dies on our larger presses are what's included but to maintain similar uh, die usage area is why we have these in two separate packages so if you have any questions about our 12 ton please contact us info at coaliron.com and stay tuned for more more.